you know, we need to build more rental apartments across this country, across this, across this great land. We have a great real estate business in Canada in all asset classes except apartments. And apartments have been stunted. Their, their development, their, their quality, and, their, and, and everything related to it is because you control supply. So it's, I go back to the passport office example. Okay, what's going to make the passport office better? Competition, right? Competition is what drives our economy, and that's what's made you know our country great. And we haven't had competition in the rental business. We have limited competition. So if you've got a choice of a building built in 1965 or a building built in 1967 or a building built in 1969, that's your choice, right? What you really want to do is create a spectrum of competition. Right? Yes, the old buildings still form the backbone of our industry, but you're going to create um, you're going to create turnover in those buildings by building new buildings that the more affluent tenants and the people who are willing to pay more for accommodation will go to these newer buildings, and that will create that will create supply and that will create a better situation for really everybody in Ontario. So let's talk about the the rental housing stock in Ontario. Almost all of it was built prior to 1975, right? So what's going to motivate that owner to provide better service and better quality accommodation? Competition is going to do that. And so as we build more apartments and the tenants in those buildings have more choice, albeit at a higher price, okay, um, it will motivate that owner of the older buildings to do a better job in his building. They're doing a pretty good job right now, but competition will bring a keen, fine interest to, um, to managing, owning, and pricing rental properties.